What if I told you that your body already has the power to cleanse itself, fight disease, and even slow down aging without expensive supplements or treatments? In 2016, a groundbreaking discovery won the Nobel Prize in medicine, revealing how our cells self-cleanse and rejuvenate, potentially protecting us from aging, dementia, cancer, and obesity. This process is called autophagy, and scientists now say it might be the key to living longer and healthier. The best part? You can trigger it naturally through fasting and smart eating habits. But how does it actually work? And more importantly, how can you use it to improve your health today? Stick with me until the end, and I'll break it all down in simple terms, plus share the best fasting methods to activate autophagy for maximum benefits. Before we continue, write in the comments, I'm ready to activate my body's healing power. It helps your brain commit to making a change. Let's get started. In 2016, Yoshinori Osumi won the Nobel Prize for his important discovery about autophagy, a process where cells clean themselves by breaking down and reusing old parts. Scientists first saw this happening in the 1960s, but Osumi's research with yeast cells helped us understand it better. He found something both simple and amazing. When cells don't get enough nutrients, they start eating their own damaged parts to survive. This way, they recycle old cell pieces into fresh building blocks, making the cell healthier. This process is especially important during short-term fasting or when we eat fewer calories. When there's less food coming in, cells look inside themselves for energy. They break down viruses, bacteria, and damaged cell parts, cleaning out waste that could cause inflammation or disease. But be careful. Going without food for too long can be dangerous and harm your organs. The best way to use autophagy safely is through intermittent fasting, taking short breaks from eating while still getting the nutrients your body needs. Osumi is well known for his work on autophagy, but it was actually based on earlier research by a Belgian scientist, Christian de Duvet. In 1974, de Duvet discovered lysosomes, tiny parts inside cells that work like a waste disposal system. These lysosomes contain special enzymes that break down old or damaged cell parts so the cell can clean and recycle itself. When your body goes through mild stress, like short-term fasting or eating fewer calories, lysosomes become more active. They remove waste from cells and turn it into energy or fresh materials to help the body function better. If de Duvet's discovery had gotten more attention back then, it could have changed how we think about food and disease prevention much earlier. However, it was Osumi's research that helped us understand just how important autophagy is for staying healthy and slowing down aging. Why autophagy is a game changer? Why are scientists so excited about autophagy? Because when cells clean out old or damaged parts, they work better and keep you healthier. Research has shown that boosting autophagy can fight toxins. Cells remove harmful viruses, bacteria, and damaged proteins, which helps reduce inflammation and lowers the risk of diseases like arthritis and even some cancers. Increased lifespan. Studies on animals show that stronger autophagy is linked to living longer. In humans, it helps protect cells from aging. Protect the brain. When damaged proteins build up in the brain, they can lead to diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Autophagy helps clear out these harmful proteins before they cause serious problems. Help with weight control. Short fasting periods can improve insulin sensitivity, boost fat burning, and help regulate body weight. Improve cholesterol levels. Some research suggests that intermittent fasting can help manage cholesterol levels and reduce heart disease risk. But remember, autophagy isn't a magic fix. The best results come from a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and proper rest. The feeding window, an eye-opening concept. Thanks to Osumi's discovery, people started experimenting with limiting their feeding window the stretch of time between the day's first and last meals. In the past, 
Many of us might keep that window open for 12 hours or more, snacking around the clock. But now, experts suggest shrinking the window to eight hours or even shorter. This approach not only leads to weight loss, but also seems to slow aging and reduce the risk of diseases like diabetes, heart problems, and possibly even dementia. Different fasting methods to try. If shortening your eating window feels too hard, don't worry. There are many ways to try fasting while still getting its benefits. Here are some popular methods. 24-hour fast. Pick one day a week to go without food for 24 hours. For example, if you eat breakfast at 8 a.m. on Monday, your next meal would be at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. Alternate day fasting. Eat normally one day, then cut your calories, around 500, the next day. This can improve insulin sensitivity, lower blood pressure, and help with cholesterol. Skipping one meal a day. If you're new to fasting, start by skipping just one meal. This is an easy way to trigger autophagy without shocking your body. Intermittent fasting. Eat all your daily meals within an eight hour window and fast for 16 hours. If 16 hours is too hard, start with 14 hours and increase over time. Water fasting. Choose one day a week to drink only water or fresh juices without sugar. Some people do this in the spring, but others practice it all year round. Benefits and limits, what doctors say. Many doctors agree that short-term fasting has real benefits. It can help with weight loss, reduce inflammation, improve insulin levels, and lower the risk of diseases like type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and even some cancers. But there are some important things to keep in mind. Autophagy is not a magic fix. Fasting may slow down or prevent diseases, but it won't instantly heal everything. It's a useful tool, not a miracle cure. Start slowly. Jumping into a four-hour eating window too quickly can stress your body. Nutritionists recommend starting with a 12-hour window, then slowly shortening it to 10 or 8 hours. Eat enough nutrients. Fasting doesn't mean skipping key nutrients. You still need enough protein, vitamins, and minerals to stay healthy. If you skip dinner, make sure your breakfast and lunch are well balanced. Quality over quantity. Fasting doesn't cancel out a bad diet. If you binge on junk food during your eating window, you lose many of the benefits. Doctors often compare fasting to Darwin's survival theory. When food is scarce, the body becomes more efficient, cleans out waste, and conserves energy. However, too much fasting can leave you tired, weak, or lacking important nutrients. Balance is key. Surprising fact, less meat, more autophagy. Here's an interesting idea. You may not need as much animal protein as you think. Since autophagy recycles old proteins, eating less meat can actually boost your body's self-cleaning process. This doesn't mean you have to go fully vegetarian, but skipping meat for a couple of days each week might help your body focus on removing and recycling older cells before they become harmful. If the body always has a fresh supply of animal protein, it never switches on autophagy as much. That leftover junk in your system may build up, raising the risk of chronic disease. So, whether or not you choose to be vegetarian, simply cutting down on meat is a step toward better cell renewal. Practical tips and final thoughts. Ready to give fasting a try? Here are some simple steps to make it easier. Number one, take it slow. Don't rush into 16 hour fasts or full day fasting. Start by shortening your eating window by an hour or two or skipping one meal, then adjust gradually. Stay hydrated. Water is essential, especially when fasting. Try warm water or herbal tea to reduce cravings and stay hydrated. Eat nutrient-rich foods. A shorter eating window doesn't mean junk food is okay. Focus on healthy meals with vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, and moderate protein. Listen to your body. If you feel dizzy, weak, or unwell, fasting might not be right for you. Check with a doctor if you have health concerns. 
Pay attention to your energy levels, mood, and overall well-being. Be consistent. Fasting works best when it becomes part of your routine. Over time, it helps reduce cravings, stabilize energy levels, and improve overall health. No matter which method you choose, an eight-hour eating window, a weekly fast, or skipping a meal occasionally, you're activating your body's natural recycling system. Autophagy, a process studied by Nobel Prize winning scientists, helps reduce inflammation, balance hormones, and lower disease risks. The feeding window approach can help you burn fat, protect muscle, and keep your cells working properly. When done safely, with enough water, good sleep, and a balanced diet, fasting can be a powerful tool for better health and longevity. Are you ready to try closing your feeding window? If you've ever experimented with fasting or detoxing, share your experience in the comments. And if you enjoyed this post, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe for more health tips.